Welcome back to the Lazy River, guys. Tonight we're just hanging out and we're doing a water change, and... What... What the heck? Do you guys see that? My tank is missing. Where the hell did it go? Alright, settle down. It's not that serious. We're actually just putting some organic potting soil into this 10-gallon tank, and that's why the space is empty. We're doing this because we want to get it ready for planting. We're going to be spreading out some of our plants and putting some new stuff in there as well. So let's get into it and show you what we're going to do next. Now comes the really fun part. Now that we've got the tank dirted, we're going to fill it up with some aquatic substrate. Now, I went down to Petco, and I usually shop at my mom and pop store, but I just happened to be in the neighborhood today at Petco, and they had dollar per gallon, so I picked up another 10 gallon and a lava rock, as well as this aquatic substrate for the planted tank that we're doing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to put it in. So we now have the sand cap on top of the substrate. Now if you look here, I like to do about an inch of dirt with about three quarters of an inch of sand cap. And that'll just keep the dirt underneath so it won't get stirred up too much. Now you want to be very careful when gravel vacuuming this stuff because you don't want to get your gravel vac all the way down in there and start sucking up some sand. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this set up on the rack and start getting it filled with water. All right, woohoo, great. We got the sand in the tank. We got it back up here on the rack. You notice my rack is a mess. The next step after filling this tank is going to be rearranging all the electrical stuff. But first, let's get into filling this tank. The first thing I have is my bucket of water and I have a piece of glass. Now these are the glasses that I use for the lids that you see right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ease this thing down in here. It's kind of difficult to do with one hand. And I'm gonna be putting it just like that for now. Now the reason being is because I'm gonna be filling that with water so I don't stir up the substrate. Now with my cup in hand I'm gonna start filling her up and notice how it doesn't stir up the sand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fast forward and get this filled up. Alright so we've gone and this is a few minutes later and you can see that we've filled up the tank and it's still crystal clear it's not cycled yet though. We'll get into that in just a second, but I just wanted to show you the importance of that glass lid. Now look, we can just lift it on out of there carefully and we'll set that aside, but voila, you don't have to worry about all that stir up. But you'll notice right now there's some gas bubbles, air bubbles that are trapped under there and that'll continue to go on for a little while until the water really sinks down into the sand and into the dirt. But let's get into throwing some media in here and getting this thing cycled. Going on up here to Steve's tank, you'll see that we keep a bunch of sponges, media bags and old filters in there. Now. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I have talked about this quite a few times. We basically like to keep these and throw them in here when we have a moment, just so you know, we got our wonderful Steve over here who's doing the work by keeping these things cycled with all the beneficial bacteria that's being produced. And what we'll do is we will go ahead and take some of those out and drop them down in here. So just like that, we're going to get the sponge filter out, we'll drop it down in here. You notice we already have our airline going in there and we need to hook it up. Shh. 
There we go. So now that's hooked up. We'll probably grab another media bag out of here. Just to toss in there for now. Maybe a sponge or two. Ugh. Throw them in there. And that'll give us a, a jump start on our aquarium. I would ideally wait probably, I don't know, some people recommend at least 24 hours doing an instant cycle like this. I'll usually wait like half a day or so, but I don't really plan on putting anything in here for the time being, so I'm just gonna leave it like that and forget it. So now we have one, two, three, four, five dirted tanks in a backwards L shape here. The other four tanks are not dirted. They basically just have gravel and sand and I'm using those for like my Siswasser tang and for my Java moss and for my assassin snails. But there may be some changes coming up soon. I want to start moving some of the Cambomba maybe up here and maybe some of the Rotala Indica up here. And we also have a big shipment of plants coming in, so we're going to be finagling and trying to like spread them all out as much as we can according to, you know, their requirements and whatnot. So that'll be for another time. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And that's basically how you dirt a tank. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give a like. I'm also selling plants on eBay at Daphne Dog 10 and I have been selling them in my Instagram stories. So be sure to check that out. Till next time guys, stay lazy and adios.